Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinemasound.com. Today we're going to be looking at a review of a review from the article that we did at Cinemasound.com from the Department of the Redundancy Department about the AKG K371 headphones. So here's what I've got here. Just sort of a review of what we talked about just in brief. Um, these are professional headphones that are really affordable, under $150. Uh, they have a detachable cable, which is super great. Um, this is a mini XLR, so theoretically you could fire off from XLR into this, which is really, really great. Obviously, not phantom power. Comes with an adapter. In fact, it comes with a bunch of things. Here, let me just show you. It comes with this awesome bag, and inside the bag are all manner of connectivity. So we've got... Uh, another uh, Mini XLR to 3.5 millimeter TRS, and we have another uh, Mini XLR to another 3.5. So you get two of these, which is so, so awesome. And let's see. Of course, then uh, you've got the pigtail, big long pigtail, which goes to 3.5 millimeter and has the adapter on board. So why are these headphones good? Well, first of all, they're really, really comfortable. You put these on, they're completely over ear. They, they sound, they feel great, and you can wear these for hours. Secondly, we'd like to talk about how headphones have their own individual purpose. There's no one headphone that does it all for us. We need to have, you know, various kinds of headphones for various kinds of jobs. And if you had to buy one pair of headphones, well, I kind of like the ones we sell at Cinema Sound, the EX29, uh, Cinema Sound branded ones. But these are really, really good for being on set for recording, for voiceovers, because they have a little bit of a high-frequency help there and some beautiful high-definition low-end. Very, very smart. And uh, they're fun to listen to. But the reason um, I say that for recording is because th with that extra amped up a bit high-frequency, it helps you hear bogeys, how things that are in the background, that you're like, oh, that's going to ruin our recording. We have to redo it. And on set, that's super critical. Plus, they have a lot of padding, a lot of rejection of what's happening outside, so you can really focus on what's happening here without having to turn them up too loud. They have a lot of, um, uh, for big heads like me, lots of lots of this, and these turn around. Let me just show you. I'm going to take this out here and fold up really nicely into a nice little package, if you will, and uh, these go right in your bag, and you're great to go. We love these. We're never getting rid of these. We love these so much. They sound great, and they're fun to listen to as well. Um, I probably wouldn't mix on these because of that high frequency and low frequency boost that's going on. Might give you a little bit of a false reading, uh, and your mixes might not translate. But for everything else, these are wonderful. From our friends at AKG and Harmon, and uh, we have the whole re uh, reverb, the whole review available for you at cinemasound.com uh, with the link that's uh, below. And uh, if you, this has been helpful for you at all, please subscribe to us here on this, this channel and come visit us at cinemasound.com where we have hundreds, if not thousands of now, of videos and articles uh, to give you the unfair competitive advantage in Hollywood production by getting that Hollywood immersion. Hopefully this has been valuable to you and uh, we will see you on the recording studio.